I'm Daniela, a web developer based in Berlin, Germany, and I'm the person behind danascript.dev. And this is my domain. I'm a former architect who immigrated to Germany from Ukraine, and like being life, I have decided to pivot my career into something that would give me a secure job sooner than later in English and something that could guarantee me a visa. And Berlin being the tech hub it is, tech has entered my life. As I didn't have anyone around me who has done a similar pivot, I decided to go online and start looking for articles and courses, and that's where I found online communities, one of them being on Instagram, where I decided to start documenting my journey for fun. The more I progressed in my journey, the more it became about me sharing how I got into tech and trying to get more people to get into tech as well, by sharing articles, useful resources, and also creating tutorials. And also wanted to show that if I did it, and there are many other people who have done it as well, and that there is still a lot of place for other people too. As I was starting to get more and more visible on social media, I decided to have a handle that would represent me online, and being a web developer, using JavaScript as my main language, as well as Dana being my short name, I decided to combine both, and that's how DanaScript got created. Of course, DanaScript had to have a home in form of a website and a .dev domain fit perfectly for that. And that's how DanaScript.dev was created. When creating a personal website, I would suggest to go with a clear structure in order for the people who are visiting your website to find the information they need and to navigate it easily. DanaScript.dev for me is an entry point where people who come from my social media pages can get to know me as a dev a bit more. I chose to have a simple landing page in order for my projects and experience to be easily found, and I also think that the domain DanaScript.dev gives an introduction by itself. You can get your own .dev domain at get.dev. 